Hey guys, it's Riley with Exotic Aquatic. It's September 9th, 2021. We got a new freshwater video in for you guys. I want to highlight some of the fish that we got in this week right now. Uh, so first off, we got in this powder blue gourami. So these guys are a dwarf species, so they're not going to get too big. Uh, I would say that they can be in a smaller aquarium. I would say at least like a 10 gallon. Uh, they're pretty peaceful. They don't really mess with anybody in your aquarium. Um, they have this beautiful light blue body. Definitely will catch your eye in your aquarium. Uh, next up we have in some opal garamis. We have a few of these guys left. What's really cool about them is that they have these really long uh, uh, feelers right here. These guys are really sweet. Uh, they're not aggressive either. They're gonna be pretty uh, active in your aquarium as well. Uh, right here we have in an albino rainbow shark. Uh, so these guys are another one that will be good in a uh, little decent sized aquarium. I would say at least like a 20 to 30 for these guys. Uh, they're an extremely active fish. Um, you might be familiar with their normal color variant uh, where the, the lighter color right here, it's gonna be um, like a black on their body, but these guys are the albino species, so they do have a little bit more white to them. Definitely a really neat fish. Next up, we have in this Pictus catfish. So we have, I think, two of these guys left right now. These ones are extremely active. Ever since we've had them, they've been nonstop moving around, so they're gonna be super active in your aquarium. Uh, these guys are peaceful, so they're not going to be messing with anybody, but they can be opportunistic, so that's just something to keep in mind. But definitely a really beautiful fish. Uh, they have these beautiful markings that go all throughout their body. Uh, definitely suggest coming by and checking them out. We also have in a few different uh, types of angelfish. Um, right here we have some koi angels, and then um, on the other side of our store we have in some platinum angels as well. Um, in this tank we also have in a Oscar, so these guys are a little bit more aggressive species when it comes to cichlids, so I definitely suggest keeping these guys by themselves when they get larger. But if you have them with a uh, fish when they're growing up, it tends to help when it comes to their aggression. So you can try to keep them with uh, other aquarium fish and they don't generally mess with them until they get a lot larger. All right guys, and last up we have in some Bozamani rainbows. So these guys are a type of schooling fish, so they're gonna be super active in your aquarium. Uh, they have a really fast metabolism, so they're gonna need to be uh, fed a couple times throughout the day. But that's no problem because they don't produce much waste as they aren't the largest of fish. But these guys are super peaceful. Um, and as I had stated, they are schooling fish, so I definitely suggest getting at least like two or three of them to school together. Here's another one right here. These guys uh, just don't lack anything when it comes to color because they, are, they have that beautiful orange all throughout their body. They have the black markings that go throughout their body as well. Definitely a, a really neat fish. And before we go, I did want to show you guys these spot cheek cichlids that we have available right here. Uh, so these guys were actually in our 150 gallon display tank, but since we are uh, moving and we redid it, uh, we wanted to, to give these guys a new home. Um, these guys don't lack anything when it comes to color as well as they have those nice beautiful pastels that go throughout their body. Um, and they're not aggressive, so they're pretty peaceful and they don't mess with anybody in your aquarium. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to turn on our post notifications. We'll see you guys next week with another video. Have a great day.